How's it going guys? This is Cale Harmon with the United States Army Marksmanship Unit Action Shooting Team. And today what I'm going to be going over is my gear and what I use and why I use it. So I have all my gear packed the same way that I would walk up to any stage. That way you guys can see kind of how I unload my gear, how I use my gear, and kind of the practicality of where I put things. So the first thing here is how I hang my rifle. Um, I know there's a lot of different ways to do it now. I use an old-fashioned QD with just a one-inch nylon strap on my Everly stock bag. Um, makes it really easy to take on and off and I trust it. I normally still keep positive control with it with one hand, but it makes it really easy to take on and off, especially if I need to carry extra things. So I'm gonna set this on the table and kind of go front to back with it. I'm gonna take this uh, wee bad scope caddy off and then I'll kind of explain my gear. So I use a Harris bipod uh, with really right stuff. Um, adapter head on it. It has the ability to use Picatinny as well as Arca, which is really nice and I like that flexibility. Um, it also has the Gray Ops feet, which I'm a big fan of. Um, they make awesome equipment. Um, my barrels, I kind of use whatever we got. Uh, I prefer Bart lines if I can. Um, Hawkins rings, uh, they're absolutely outstanding. I got a Night Force scope. Uh, Terminus Actions is kind of the heart of what I use and i um, very partial to them. And my chassis is a little bit of a Frankenstein, primarily XLR with some MPA pieces on it. But I have my chamber flag on here as well, and then in my rifle caddy. So I really like these, and anyone that's shot with me knows I keep my scope covered as much as I can. If I'm not using it, that rifle caddy's on my scope because the way that this covers it, it actually covers my whole action trigger housing everything. And as we know, triggers inherently go down, so the more I can protect this, the better off I am. Now, inside my rifle caddy, I keep a few pieces of equipment as well. So I keep scope tools that are dummy corded to my uh, little lens cloths in there in case of inclement weather. I also keep spare data cards and pens. So I use a normal ink pen as well as matte pens, and these are permanent. Um, and I'll kind of explain how I get them on and off later. But these are the data cards I use, PVC ones with Velcro. Um, and like I said, I keep spares in here just so I kind of have redundancy in my system. So I'll set that off to the side. And again, as I'm coming up on a stage, I would kind of set my pack down and I'm going to kind of go through it. So my ear pro, um, I use Peltors on the outside. Uh, I prefer to double ear pro and I'll kind of explain those when I get to them. Um, but first I'm going to go ahead and set up my tripod. So I keep my tripod on the side here. Uh, I just have a little shot cord lanyard and it allows it to come out nice and easy. Um, I use the really right stuff 34L. Um, I'm a little bit taller so this allows for some more flexibility. So I really like this one. Laying my pack on the side. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my optics and then we'll kind of go down the list from there. So on my optics, again, uh, I'm a fan of Gray Ops equipment. He makes quality stuff. So I have the Gray Ops plate here uh, along with the double Arca setup. So I use a vector for spotting. Um, most of the time I can see Mirage a little bit better. It kind of helps me paint a better full picture of the uh, range when we're shooting. It also gives me very accurate ranges, and I'm a big fan of using my own ranges every time, not just using what the book tells me. Um, and then I also use a Bushness, Bushnell LMSS2, I believe, uh, with a trimmer reticle in it. And really, that's just for me milling targets. Uh, part of my process that's pretty crucial to me is understanding how much budget I have on that target and mills and using that to my advantage. Um, again, this has Arca in here. This just clips on on top locks in and it's good to go. Uh, I keep this on here almost all the time. And the reason being is that when I have it hanging, I actually use my pack on this. And I use that as a counterweight because I love shooting out west. Um, I think it makes you a better shooter. But as we all know, those uh, windy conditions can really test your tripod stability. So keeping that on there ensures that your gear and stuff's not gonna topple over. All right guys, so kind of working from the top down here. Uh, in my top, um, we're at the AG Cup right now. Uh, we're planning for some pretty bad weather, so I have everything right now in bags. Um, this is just some basic hydration packs, um, some acetaminophen, um, you know, kind of basic provisions that you would need, nothing crazy there. In here, I keep a spare magazine, so I keep a third mag. I'll go through my shooting belt in a minute, but I always keep a third mag. Um, kind of a pro tip here, guys, I use koozies. And the reason I use these is they fit over the top of the mag and they protect your feed lips. And a lot of PRS shooters know that if you have any magazine failures, that can be a serious time killer, especially when you're on the stage in a time crunch. So pretty cheap insurance, throw a koozie on top of there, protect your feed lips. Um, I also here, I have like custom molded ear pro. Um, I prefer these under my Peltors and I double ear pro up. 
Um, it really helps me see things better and kind of I have a little bit less of a flinch and hesitation with it. So I have these as well and then uh, simple sugars, keep gummies in here. Um, got that tip from another shooter on the team. If you're kind of sitting there on a stage and you feel like you're staring off in the distance and your blood sugar's dropping, a packet of those helps quite a bit. Turn this around so it's easier to see. This top pouch here, uh, if I unzip that, it's where I keep my ammunition. It's easy to access, especially when it's hanging off the tripod. So I leave that up top. And then this bottom compartment here, this is where I keep all of my data and kind of things that I ride on. So I use this, it's a clipboard that I've kind of cut down. I use some Velcro on the back. And what this allows me to do is, you know, when we have matchbooks or things like that, I can just clip them on and I set that on my tripod and it stays there. That allows me to kind of keep my workspace, be able to write, look through my binos and kind of bounce back and forth with things. So I think it's pretty important. Um, I also keep more map pens in there. Again, redundancy in your system. Um, everyone in the PRS is super helpful and they're great. They'll give you the shirt off their back, but I really plan to try to not rely on anyone. Um, so now kind of going through my whole system here. So I'll go through my shooting belt. Um, so the shooting belt that I use, uh, it's just kind of your standard Molly inner outer belt. Um, I use the inner belt most of the time and leave it on because it's very easy for me to put my belt on and off. And I also use this carabiner up front. Um, as you guys know, especially when it's raining out, right? A lot of times when you're trying to load, you're trying to take your chamber flag out and do that sort of thing. It's really nice to be able to have this to clip on, to do whatever I need to do and keep your hands free. So I leave that carabiner up there, it helps me out. Going around, I have two magazines. Uh, I use the new MDT 12 rounders. Um, I shoot a 6GT and they've been outstanding for me. I have my Kestrel pouch in the back as well. And then I keep a dump pouch over here on this side. Um, dump pouch just allows me to kind of free up space if there's things I need to grab. A lot of times I'll throw brass in it just so I can get off the stage quick and kind of keep the momentum going so I'm not jamming up the shooter behind me. All right, kind of unloading the bag here. Um, I'm kind of a one bag guy when it comes to positional, but I do prefer a lighter weight bag in the rear, especially when I'm shooting prone. So this is a full size OG Get Light. Um, I like this a lot. I also have this carabiner on here as well. I use this tack table quite often for a tack table rear setup. And this carabiner as well, conveniently hooks onto these gray ops loops like that. So if I ever am shooting and I need to kind of keep my hands separate, or if it's a stage that's kind of complex with multiple portions, uh, I can ditch one bag, go to my tack table, and this bag is always on there. I don't need to fish for it if it's falling off or something like that. Uh, knee pads, I use these Arc'teryx knee pads. Um, I'm a big fan of comfort while you're shooting because if you're uncomfortable or if you're at K&M or some of these top-notch facilities that have cobblestone everywhere, um, if you're kneeling in that, and you're thinking about how your, knee, your knee's hurting, you're not thinking about what's happening downrange. So I personally like to use the knee pads. Um, for my heavy bag, I use a Schmedium uh, with sand. I use a little bit less fill in it, um, but I keep it waxed, works outstanding for me. Kind of going from the top down in the bag. So in the top here, I kind of have some things hanging that help me out quite a bit. So I use this hand sanitizer. Uh, the hand sanitizer's primarily alcohol-based. So when I'm writing in permanent marker on these data cards, I can use that hand sanitizer and wipe it off, but it won't come off in rain or other inclement weather. So it only is removed when I want it to be, which is convenient. All right, this top pocket here, I'll just kind of grab everything and dump it and then explain it. So in the top pocket, um, I've made my own little kind of PVC data card things here. It's just the back of a burger box cut down with some Velcro. Uh, it originally was a Hawk Hill data card holder, I believe, could be wrong. Uh, these kitchen timers, so I take these and I do Velcro on them as well. Again, they stick to kind of all the other things that I have Velcroed, makes it easy to take on and off, uh, but it's a really easy way to keep track of time, and I can say this probably gained myself a couple points today even. Uh, and this little thing right here, I have a backup one. Again, if, I, if it's worth me carrying one of them, I have almost two of everything. Um, I keep one of the uh, Magneto Speed Rifle Cools. Um, it's winter, so it's really not necessary, but I'd rather just kind of keep it on me and keep all my gear consistent. Uh, I use these Peltors as well. These are in-ear that are amplifying. Um, sometimes in certain situations, maybe um, two-man sniper style matches or field style matches, range commands are incredibly important. 
So in situations where I need to be very aware, um, I'll use these in conjunction with my normal Peltors, and that way I make sure that I'm not missing any kind of critical details. All right, going in the next pocket over here. Um, this is kind of my data card management pocket, if you will. So I keep this on here, again, using the hand sanitizer to wipe off any data cards that I need. And then going inside of it, it's just more PVC data card holders. Again, some right in the rain map pens, along with alcohol wipes if I need them. Now, a lot of people have asked me about this. Um, I can't, couldn't tell you who makes this. It's been discontinued for years and years. Um, I've made a second one on my own, but this essentially is how I like to manage my data most of the time. Um, it's a simple hand card with Velcro where I can write my data on, and I like to run it in conjunction with a timer up top. This makes it easy for me. If I'm holding my rifle, I can reach around with my support hand, click that timer when the RO gives me the proper commands to start the stage. I also, too, um, kind of contrary to some how some PRS shooters shoot, I do all my rifle manipulations with my right hand. So I'll run my bolt, change my dope, change my parallax. I do everything right-handed. My left hand's job is to support that rifle, whether it be the toe of the rifle or whether it be the forend on a support bag. Um, so that's what I use this for. This side I have uh, koozies. So these koozies I use for uh, sunshades. Again, just kind of one more level of protection. But I keep these sunshades on me in case I need them um, with inclement weather. I also keep the uh, the night force caps, both front and rear, for my scope if I need them. Um, I'm not a big fan of shooting with them on all the time because I've seen them kind of cause more harm than good. So I keep them separate, and on a real bad day, I'll go ahead and pull them out. Kind of next down the line here, um, I don't even know what you call these. I think Short Action Customs gave these out of the match. Uh, it's awesome to keep your fingerprints and everything off the scope. You can just blow the water off it. So I use that as well. Going to the other side, uh, your standard fix-it stick kit. Um, I've kind of used this one or tailored it so that every screw or nut in my system is in here. Um, and I think that's important, right? People buy a toolkit, go through it, make sure everything that you need is in here. And again, waterproofed. On um, this one, I keep batteries. So I keep batteries. Um, everything that I use that takes a battery, I have multiple of as well as a lens cleaning kit. So a lot of times I see guys kind of wiping them off with a t-shirt. I like to keep a proper lens cleaning kit with pens, defogger, a good microfiber towel, just because we spend so much money on our optics already, it's important to take care of them appropriately. So that takes care of the inside of the bag. So working on the sides of my bag now, right? Um, Again, I normally keep a set of gloves, like kind of really good insulated gloves, just for, um, you know, if it gets too cold out and stuff, or if you know you have a couple shooters back, I like to keep my hands warm, keep my dexterity as good as possible. So I keep those in there at all times. Um, I'm also a huge fan of hard data. So I normally will keep these right in the reins and everything. Um, it'll have my barrel that I'm using, and I normally write down kind of things that I saw. If my zero's wandering, I'll take note of where I saw that sun that day, where my zero was, what my chronograph data was, and I'll normally take a couple standard ranges and compare it throughout the day. That way, if I think I'm getting some funky stuff on elevation, I can compare it to my hard notes. Um, and again, maybe that's something that was kind of ingrained for me from a military background, but it's not something that I'm gonna get away from, because um, in any and all situations, the analog never fails you. Going over here to the other side of my bag, uh, again, I'm a huge fan of the Harris. I like keeping it simple, but in a lot of situations, that's not good enough. So I use the MDT double pull with a Skypod. Um, I really like this one. I've kind of become really accustomed to it. And again, I change it to that really right stuff head. Um, it accepts Picatinny as well as Arca. And especially with my line of work and a lot of the units that we're teaching, uh, they're just not up to date yet on Arca. So a lot of weapon systems still have Picatinny. So I like having that option. Going down into this, uh, again, this is just kind of warmer things, right? Beanies, some higher dexterity gloves to use if in case I have to shoot with gloves. But again, I keep everything waterproofed. And then at the bottom, uh, microfiber towels. So everyone's kind of been in a situation where maybe you breathe on your lens, you get it fogged up. Really, you need some dry lenses at your, dis or excuse me, you need some dry cloth at your disposal to be able to fix that problem. So I like to keep a couple of them in a Ziploc stuffed at the bottom of my bag in case I need it. So that kind of covers my system, guys, um, kind of top to bottom. And if you notice, I started with all my gear on and then kind of dismembered it on purpose because I wanted you guys to see that I like keeping everything in one contained bag. 
Um, I keep consistency with that. I keep the same things in the same pocket all the time. That way, if I'm missing something or if I think I'm missing something, it's a lot easier for me to check that. I hope this helps. If any of you guys have any more questions, you guys can reach out to me on social media.